It all began on May 13, 2009 with a simple video uploaded to YouTube. That day, the world was introduced to James, the creator of JLWII 2000. Before the first video took place, a series of events had to unfold for the train bug to bite James Wright. In April of 2009, his cousin Chris mailed James a custom set with DCC controller. Days later, Chris visited James in California, but did not foresee what would happen in the following day. James's wife casually mentioned to Chris that people at her workplace were lined up to see a steam locomotive. 8.40 something, she stated. Chris lit up. 8.44, he said. Chris wanted to go see the locomotive, and although James didn't know what the fuss was, he obliged. Chris circled the locomotive, hovered up front, and didn't want to leave. After a brief look, James was ready to depart. Unbeknownst to James, the bug was biting, and biting hard. After letting the engine sink in, James proclaimed, That's it. I'm getting wood. Chris and James set up to build James's first train table in his garage. James eventually purchased the 844 model from Train World. The rest, as they say, is history. The first video James put online was showing Chris, who had returned to Indiana, how his train ran. James went on to create the first HO scale reviews on YouTube. This was followed by a variety of content. Over the years, the video steadily improved. Within the first year, James started using editing software. In year two, James moved to Nebraska and documented the build of his first layout using FlexTrack. In 2012, something happened that was very special to James. He was invited by Shane Wilson, then brand manager of Atherton Trains, to do a video on their locomotives in their studio located in Champaign, Illinois. Shane showed James how much effort was put into the manufacturing side of trains. By 2013, James had a clear picture of what the consumer wanted in model train reviews. He felt he was an ambassador of sorts as he documented model train problems and reviews to challenge the manufacturer to improve. This also led to rewards for consumers and manufacturers. James launched the People's Choice Awards in late 2012. By 2018, the awards were an industry point of pride. James also decided everyone should be able to visit train shows through YouTube. So he began to visit two to three shows per year. This further diversified and improved his channel. From 2013 to 2019, James tripled the number of subscribers he had from 12,000 to 43,000. And his views skyrocketed to 200,000 views per month with an average of 25,000 views per video. So after 10 years, where does the journey go from here for James? He has another move planned military retirement, and a whole new adventure is on the horizon. And that, in a nutshell, is the story of the channel. If you ask James if he's quitting, he'll tell you that he'll continue making content as long as he's having fun. I'm James L. Jones. Thanks for watching.